going to read a book to you guys called Dream Big, Michael Jordan and the Pursuit of Excellence. Schoolwork always came first, but whenever he could, Michael played, dreamed, and lived basketball. Michael took his basketball everywhere. Every day when he got off the school bus, he would dribble his basketball home. But his love for basketball made his mother tell him things like, Michael, tables are for dining, not dribbling. Or, Michael, you may not play with your basketball in the house. And Michael, put your ball down and concentrate on your homework. Every day at the school, Michael and his friends would play pickup games in Michael's backyard or at the boys' center downtown. They would see who would get 20 shots first. One afternoon, Michael was way behind, not even up to 10. Michael's best friends, Reggie and David, were near 20 points each. Michael, you better catch up, David said. Are you dreaming again? Michael and his friends often talked about what they wanted to be when they grew up. Reggie wanted to be an astronaut, astronaut, excuse me, and David wanted to be a pilot. Michael dreamed of playing basketball, maybe even in the Olympics. David, do you think I'll make the team when we get to high school? Michael, you love the game. The more you play, the better you'll be, David said. It's like coach tells us, you just need to work hard and keep practicing. Michael was thinking about what David had said and when he and the boys went over to his house to take some practice shots before dinner. Not so fast, boys. There'll be no basketball until your homework is done. Every last page, says Jordan, Michael's mom. Mom, Michael said, that's final. Now scoop. David and Reggie, see you later, Michael mumbled. Michael knew his mom meant business. Schoolwork was important to her and it came first. Basketball was fine, but only after homework was done and done well. Michael dragged himself to his room to work on Mrs. Gertrude's math homework. school that week, all the talk was about the Olympics. The U.S. basketball team was playing in Germany and everyone was following it. I want to play basketball, not watch it on TV, Michael told his friends. Michael thought it would be so exciting to play for the U.S. Olympic team. He dreamed of it. On Sunday, September 10th, it rained and rained. Michael was stuck inside, so he wanted to he watched the Olympics on TV with his brothers, Ronnie and Larry. The United States was playing basketball against Russia. It was the most exciting game <clears throat> Michael had ever seen, with a final score of 50 to 51, a loss for the United States. After the game, Michael walked into the kitchen as his mother was preparing dinner and announced, I'm going to the Olympics. Oh, really? His mother replied with a smile on her face not looking up from peeling the potatoes. That's a long way off. And you're just nine. You need to work hard starting today to make that happen. His mother wondered if Michael had any idea of all the effort it would take to even get to try out for the team. Dreaming is good, but dreaming is for dreamers. It's one, it's one thing if you want to play in the Olympics, Michael. It's another thing to do something about it, she told her young dreamer. Mom, I'm a dreamer? but I'm a winner too. You better get busy, then you'll be old enough to try out before you know it. Coach Herring, can I talk to you? Coach had always given Michael a high five in the hallway, but still had taken Michael weeks to get up the nerve to speak to him. I really wanna play on the US Olympic team. What can I do to get there? To start, you need to try out for the middle school team. It's a lot of pressure. It'll be a lot of hard work, but nothing like the pressure in the Olympics. 
Can you handle it? I mean, deep down, can you handle it? And do you really want it? I promise to work my hardest and make it happen, Michael answered. Michael was ready to play for his country in the Olympics and would do whatever he needed to do to get there. Well, son, with hard work, anything is possible. Make sure you keep that promise to yourself. The next day, Michael's big brother Larry was off to Laney High School for a scrimmage. I can't promise you any playing time, but why don't you come and sit on the bench and watch? Maybe you'll pick up some pointers and learn some new plays, his brother said. Michael noticed that he was now up to Larry's shoulder. He had grown and so had his dream. It was time to do something about it. Larry's team was leading by six when Michael was called in. Larry passed the ball to Michael, who passed it right back. Michael began to imagine himself on the Olympic team. He could see it and feel it. The ball was passed to Michael. M Michael had a mean long shot. <clears throat> shot right over the head of the tallest boy on the other team. He sunk it. Mom, the final score was 14 to 10 and three points were mine. I guess you aren't just a dreamer, but a doer, Michael. And Michael never gave up after the game, not a day. Even when he was cutting the tribes for high school basketball, he just practiced harder and harder. Michael's big dream grew just like he did. In the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, Michael Jordan became an Olympian for the US basketball team and won his first gold medal. Somehow, he knew when he was, young, when he was only nine that this is what it would be. It all started during the pickup games on the blacktop with his friends. Michael never gave up. A giant step, no, a series of small steps, day after day after day, yes. Michael's big dream came true. So dream big and work hard and your dream might come true too. Yeah.